Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Multi-Window Marketplace plugin by Webpool. And in today's video tutorial, what I'll be doing is I'll be breaking down the WooCommerce Multi-Window Marketplace plugin into three different sections or three different parts. And in the first one, we'll be showing you the uh, uh, options that are available for setting up the WooCommerce Multi-Window Marketplace uh, by the Web Store admin. And in the second one, we'll be showing you the window workflow. And in the third video, we'll be showing you the customer workflow and the options that the sellers and the customers would have under their own account panels. So uh, apart from that, we'll also uh, be showing you how uh, the vendors would be able to add their products and the different options as well. So uh, before we go, uh, go further and uh, before we uh, check the backend configuration for this uh, WooCommerce Multi-Window Marketplace plugin by the Web Store admin, uh, let me give you a small gist about this plugin. So uh, this uh, video is also an updated uh, version for the WooCommerce Multi-Window Marketplace plugin and uh, uh, for any more information you can check the description below where I've added the uh, user guide, live demo and the blog uh, itself. So uh, if you have any uh, questions or queries you can also check them as well otherwise you can also get back to us anytime at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can also raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com now uh, basically this multi-window marketplace for WooCommerce will be able to uh, convert your e-commerce store in a fully functional marketplace having multiple sellers with separate seller profiles and gives your sellers the functionality of adding the products from the seller panel apart from that this plugin uh, uh, can help the sellers uh, to view and edit their profile information the sellers can view their product list and search edit and delete products from it the sellers can also view a record of uh, their transactions and sale charts in the dashboard and uh, the admin can also manage the product list, seller list, commissions and settings and much more. So uh, using basically using this plugin now anyone can achieve success who wants to create some extra stream of income online. The best part is that it requires no technical knowledge to set it up. The developers have done a good job of making the setup very easy and even for the beginners as well. So now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see what different configuration settings are there for this particular WooCommerce multi-vendor marketplace itself. So here I'm at the uh, WooCommerce uh, multi-vendor marketplace backend configuration here as you can see. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, logging into my admin backend panel first by entering my username password and tapping on the login button. Now after you successfully install this particular plugin on the left hand side panel the admin would have this marketplace option wherein the admin would be able to perform different functionalities and wherein the admin can check the product list seller list commissions notifications manage feedback seller queries settings and we'll go through each of them one by one so after the successful installation you just need to navigate to the settings section so as to do the initial configurations so i'll just open that up in another window so uh, here you can see right now we are under the marketplace and settings so here we have four different tabs that needs to be configured initially so we have the configuration product settings asset visibility and the advanced uh, option as well so let's go through the uh, configuration first so here you, we need to the admin needs to enter the uh, facebook app id and the facebook app secret so as well as the customers uh, to log in using their Facebook account so that they can uh, put the reviews for the marketplace uh, products so the admin just needs to uh, create the app ID and the app secret on its own uh, using the Facebook itself apart from that uh, the admin would be able to set up a minimum commission and uh, here the admin can uh, enter it in percentage so it would uh, be the uh, mechanism uh, wherein the uh, wherein the entered minimum commission would be applicable to all of the marketplace sellers so you can set it as per your own requirement for example if i enter 20 so 20 percent would be the minimum commission for each of the marketplace sellers then uh, we have the seller menu title so here the admin basically enters the title uh, of the uh, display cell panel widget so this uh, menu title would be visible to the uh, sellers as well as the customers at the web store front end then we have the auto approve seller so here uh, we have this checkbox and if checked then the sellers would be auto approved auto approved after the registration as a seller otherwise uh, 
if you have not uh, to, uh, selected this particular option then the admin will have to manually approve the uh, seller request then we have the separate seller dashboard and uh, we can check this option uh, if checked then the seller can have a separate dashboard just like the admin and uh, if we uh, uncheck this option then the seller will have the default seller dashboard only then we have a separate login form so basically if this option is checked uh, a separate login form will be created for these sellers and if we have uh, unchecked this then the normal separate uh, normal login form would be applicable uh, to the marketplace sellers then we have applicable shipping methods and from here the admin basically can uh, select the uh, can select the uh, seller shipping methods uh, that is to apply on the cart page so applicable shipping methods can be chosen as the seller shipping or the admin shipping so uh, actually uh, here the admin decides whether uh, who's basically uh, shipping method would be applicable at the checkout page is it the admin uh, shipping methods or the seller shipping methods so you can set that up according to your own requirement thereafter you just need to tap here on the save changes button now let's go to the product settings and uh, under the product settings basically uh, we have different options uh, and here the uh, uh, admin can manage the product settings for the uh, marketplace sellers and the very first option is allow seller to publish so you can check or uncheck this option if checked then uh, the users would be able to publish uh, their uh, items online directly then we have uh, otherwise uh, the product approval would be required for uh, the sellers to publish their uh, products then we have product type for the seller so basically here the admin can choose the product types that would be available for the uh, 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 that would be available to the sellers while they're editing their products under their own account panel for the marketplace so the product type for the seller can be set by the admin as required then the admin can set up the allowed categories uh, uh, which will be available to the sellers while editing the products so any of your categories that you want to allow to the sellers you can choose them up from here you need to tap save changes thereafter now let's go to the asset visibility so here uh, the admin can configure the seller asset visibility on their profile pages so for example email you can choose it as a yes or a no and uh, here the admin can configure whether the uh, seller email will be displayed on the seller profile or not and similarly for the uh, phone number as well whether you want to display that up on the uh, seller profile or not and uh, the same would apply to the uh, address and the social links as well so the asset visibility allows the admin to uh, uh, make visible the email phone number address and the social links on the seller profile choosing a no for all would uh, disable the email phone number address and social links from the seller profile page and lastly we have the uh, advanced tab and the advanced tab basically provides dynamic functionality to the WooCommerce multi-window marketplace plugin and here the admin can configure the endpoints and the title for the sellers itself so here you can see that for the dashboard we have the endpoint and the title similarly for the product list add product order history transaction shipping seller profile notifications shop follower ask to admin product from seller recent products from seller as well so here you can set the endpoints uh, uh, for uh, the uh, marketplace account uh, account uh, endpoints so uh, basically the endpoint is an extra part that is present uh, in the URL of any of the websites such as for example if we enter uh, https colon forward slash forward slash uh, example dot com forward slash about us forward slash company hyphen profile which is mainly used to display the different content without the need to navigate to the multiple uh, pages for instance a seller uh, can have a seller profile page which displays on the URL as example dot com forward slash seller profile so we can append an endpoint for example the edit seller profile to the url to show the edit page for the seller profile such as example.com forward slash seller profile forward slash edit hyphen seller profile so that's how we can set up the marketplace account endpoints for the marketplace sellers so uh, that was much about the configuration and uh, now let's go through each of the options that are there under the marketplace for the uh, admin so we have the product list seller list commission notifications manage feedback seller queries and settings we've already shown you how we can configure that so let's go to the product list first so basically under this uh, product list section uh, the admin can view his as well as the sellers products and can edit or delete the products as required 
So tapping the edit link would break up the edit option for their products and you can delete them as well. So here you can see that uh, we have Mark Do, that's the seller and this product, uh, that's the album. Wu album uh, belongs to Mark Do. The hoodie with logo uh, product is a, a simple uh, product and it uh, belongs to the admin itself. Apart from that, you can also see the uh, affiliate products and the group products uh, for the different sellers as well. So uh, the admin has the control over the seller's products and can basically view and change any specification of the product as required. And the admin can also mass assign products to a seller or can filter the products as per a seller. So to filter, you just need to uh, choose the drop down whether assigned or unassigned. For example, if we choose unassigned and uh, we tap on the change uh, then the so that way we can uh, filter the product and uh, apart from that the admin can choose a seller and uh, can choose the products that the admin wants to uh, assign to that particular uh, uh, seller for example if we choose John and we have selected these two uh, products uh, or only the uh, product that is here that for the mark do and we can tap here on the assign button thereafter and this would assign the album to uh, John Doe itself. So now the album is, uh, you can see that it's assigned to now John Doe that was previously uh, being assigned to the other uh, seller there. So as soon as the sellers add their products, they are basically uh, depending upon uh, whether the admin has uh, configured the option that is allow seller to publish as unchecked. Let me show you that. So basically, uh, if uh, the admin basically has uh, set the option under the product settings let me go to the product setting page and um, allow seller to publish if this is checked then uh, as soon as the seller publishes uh, his uh, product that would be live otherwise if this option is unchecked then uh, the admin can see uh, the uh, products here but he can see that the uh, what we say as uh, in draft and then the admin needs to uh, enable that product for the seller so from here as well, I have already told you that the admin can assign the products to any of the sellers of the marketplace by choosing them and tapping on the assign button. And they can also filter the uh, seller products by choosing the uh, seller and tapping on the uh, change button. And that would bring up uh, that particular seller's product. So you can see that the admin has only one. If I choose John and tap on the change button, then all of the uh, products assigned to the seller John Doe would be visible here as you can see on the right hand seller column. Now let's go to the seller list and let's see what different options are there. So here we are on the seller list and uh, here the admin can basically see the complete list of the sellers and uh, from here the admin can basically edit and delete the uh, information re uh, related to the uh, marketplace sellers. So to manage a seller the admin just needs to tap here on the manage button. And that brings up the particular seller's uh, details as you can see here. So from here, the admin can check the details, the orders related to that particular seller, the transactions that have been made to that particular seller, the commission rate for that uh, seller. So let me tap that. The uh, categories that have been assigned to that particular seller. And from here, the admin can also add more uh, categories as well and can also change the uh, commission for that particular seller uh, in fixed rate as well. So uh, apart from that, the admin can see the existing commission for that particular seller as well. Now let's go back to the seller list and uh, let's go to the manage uh, section once again. So under the manage uh, section, you can see that we have the details of the customer. Then we have the orders. So from here, the uh, admin can check the orders for the particular seller and uh, the admin can also make a payment uh, by tapping here in the pay button that's available on the order to mark the order amount to be paid to the seller so that uh, the admin can see whether it's paid or we need to pay for that uh, particular uh, product uh, that has been sold out from the marketplace itself and after tapping on the pay button uh, a transaction would get created here under the transactions tab for example if i tap here on the pay button for the album we neck t-shirt now let's go to the transaction section so he will be able to see the uh, details uh, for that particular uh, product. So you can see the V-neck t-shirt is visible here. So we've made uh, the uh, payment to that particular seller, the amount, type, and the method as well. So I've told you about the commission. We can change the commission. 
and can view the prior uh, commission that was assigned and we can check the assigned category section to allow check the allowed categories and we can add or remove the categories for that particular seller now let's go to the commission section so basically here under the commissions the admin can manage the commissions uh, commission rate for the sellers and can see the total sale of the seller and the uh, admin commission from the sale itself so you can see that we have commission the total sales that have been and commission amount paid amount amount remaining and the last pay amount that was made to the sellers of the marketplace itself and apart from that the uh, admin can basically tap here on the uh, seller name and that would bring back uh, the admin to the commission section where the admin can set the commission and fixed rate and can check the existing commission as well now uh, let's go to the notification section so basically here the admin would be able to see all of the uh, uh, notification that are related to the orders within the marketplace itself so the admin can basically filter the orders according to processing and complete it and that way he'll be able to check all of the notifications apart from that the admin can also check the notifications for the product so whether products have been approved disapproved edited and the other ones as well now under the manage feedback the admin can basically manage the feedback from the customers and the admin can approve or disapprove uh, the reviews and the rating for from the customers for the seller products and uh, they are the sellers can with the approved reviews under their own account panel as well so you can see that uh, for the John shop, uh, we have the value rating, price, quality rating, the summary, the description for the same, and the status as approved, and the creation date as well. And from the bulk, the admin can approve or disapprove any of the uh, feedbacks that admin provided. And uh, that was about the managed feedback. Now let's go to the seller queries, and basically uh, under this tab, um, uh, the admin will be able to see the query list uh, that have been sent by the uh, marketplace sellers and from here the admin can uh, reply back by typing the reply button on the, the actions column as you can see so tapping the reply button brings up this uh, section from here the admin can reply back to the marketplace uh, seller and he just needs to tap around the send button to reply back to the respective seller that's the uh, john doe now uh, that was about the product list the seller list commissions notifications manage feedbacks and the seller queries as well and we've already gone through the settings here so uh, that was much about the uh, backend configuration uh, that is required for the uh, wordpress woocommerce multimedia marketplace plugin by webpool and i hope you understood it uh, clearly and if you still have any questions or queries uh, regarding this particular uh, backend configuration then you can check our user guide that I've added in the description section below, or you can also mail us at support at the rate of webpool.com, or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvidus.com. And uh, in the next video, now we'll be showing you the workflow of the multimedia marketplace uh, for the vendors at the web store front end in the part second of this particular uh, video itself. So, thanks for watching this video, and have a great day ahead.